Welcome back to my channel, my name is Riba Estrella and today we're going to be exploring the Learn with Gooby videos found on the channel Gooby Educational Videos. Now what should we expect from these videos? A children's educational show with hidden secrets connected to missing children and an otherworldly being. With that being said, let's begin with the first video, Learn to Count with Gooby. It opens with a fun intro and then Gooby introducing themselves. The footage clearly isn't the most stable, but that's not going to stop us from learning numbers with Gooby. Gooby starts counting up to 10 while showing off the numbers and after this Gooby wants to show the audience their favorite number which could be found on a card. Gooby then asks the audience if they know what it is, saying it's a credit card. Suddenly, that's when the video starts to corrupt and Gooby's voice warps and changes to a deep tone who asks for the card to be brought to them and for the viewer to read the numbers of the card out loud, specifically the numbers on the front and back. During this, they seemed pleased and hummed in delight while asking for the numbers. After this, the video returns back to its more friendly theme and Gooby congratulated the viewer for doing a good job before saying goodbye. And that's the end of the first video. Clearly not a normal kids program that teaches the youths. At first, it starts off normal, but asking for the credit card numbers was something. And there was even Morse code spotted in the videos, but the letters on top of it made it difficult to figure out what it said. It could say escape, evading, according to what other people are saying. Regardless of that, it's clear that we need to keep a sharp eye out for secrets in this series. Now the next video, learn the alphabet with Gooby. It opens with Gooby's introduction, then moving on to them saying the alphabet. And just like with the numbers, Gooby shows off each letter as they name them off. At the end, Gooby decided to show their two favorite words, which is, help me. And in the background, we can hear an exhausted voice pleading for help. The video glitches and briefly flashing on the screen we can see a poster with information on a person which many of it was censored. All we know for certain is that it's a girl named Michaela who's blonde with blue eyes, white, and her birthday is in January 17th, 2020. Additionally, I believe this poster specifically is a missing poster giving details about Michaela and it also mentions her grandmother Carrie who was the one looking after her at the time which was December 7th, 2023, but Michaela was abducted when Carrie wasn't looking. After this, the video returned back to normal, Gooby said goodbye and that was the end of this video. Now moving on to the next one. It's learning colors with Gooby. Unexpectedly, something was wrong with Gooby's voice, so we had to rely on the captions below them. Regardless of this, Gooby continues to teach us about colors while showing them on the screen and even giving examples of where the colors could be found. Blue could be found on the sky, orange could be found on a fruit with the same name, green can be found on a leaf, purple can be found on a bruise, brown could be found on dirt, and yellow can be found on Gooby. Gooby then asks what's our favorite color and even tells us their favorite color. Their favorite color is red, like blood. Gooby loves blood. And just like before, another poster flashes on the screen, this time with a male kid born on June 5th, 2019. This kid's name is Andrew, and they also went missing. Also flashing on the screen is what I believe to be Gooby, but more realistic and very frightening. After that was the end of the lesson, but not the end of the video, because in the end, we see an unusual clip of a tooth getting harassed. Interesting. Now moving on to the next video, we're going to be learning about shapes. Gooby's voice still isn't normal, but at least more understandable, and oddly enough, even their appearance is different. Relying on the captions again as Gooby speaks, we learn about shapes. But for some reason, Gooby starts naming off objects and other things. A plastic lid, a plastic spoon, a car battery, a broken light bulb, a rotten egg, a broken dish, a little girl, a razor, and toenail clippings. When Gooby mentioned a little girl, we see flashing images of a poster for a girl named Sophia Anthony. Sophia also went missing in December 2023. After this, Gooby goes on to say they love shapes, and more images flash on the screen. A lot of them. There was an interesting image of a man with what looks like a mask with a wide smile. There was also glimpses of missing children, their posters, and that yellow creature which might be Gooby. By the way, the locations where the kids went missing is California, Idaho, and Utah, meaning they were abducted in different locations in the US. After this, we see a person in a suit and text reading, Do not look into his eyes. Do not listen to what he says. Do not trust him. He lies. In addition to all the flashing images, we also saw codes and with the help of the comments, two codes were translated for us. He is not what he says he is. And panic surges through the children, their screams droning out by the cacophony of his chilling melody, their hope for escape dwindling in the face of an insurmountable horror that seems to have taken on a life of its own. Yikes! And in the end of the video we hear music and see old footage. Now next up is learning animals. It opens with glitches and the sound of what I believe to be heavy breathing before switching to Gooby. Gooby was going to say what their favorite shape was, but another voice interrupts and it was a kid saying that their favorite shape is a circle. The footage glitches and in text was a jumble of words and when translated it says, only speak when spoken to. After this we get a paragraph which says, I find myself consumed by thoughts of him, his antics playing out vividly in my mind's eye. The name conjured images of laughter and joy, and innocence and wonder. It was the embodiment of childhood itself, a beacon of light in a world grown dark with cynicism and doubt. 
We then switch back to Gooby, who's now naming off animals. When a pig appeared on screen, Gooby was interrupted by the kid's voice and the footage glitches again with text that translates to, Listen to what I tell you, pig. After this is another paragraph that reads, He was manifested by my own desires and aspirations, a being that willed itself into existence by planting seeds of creativity in the fertile soil of my mind. Deep down, I know that he's the one pulling the strings, weaving himself into the fabric of my reality until I can't remember times when he wasn't a part of me. Huh. Returning back to Gooby, Gooby asked if the viewer likes animals and the kid responds, with a yes. Gooby then goes on to say what their favorite animal is, and we see a human, or the anatomy of a human. The video then starts to warp, and the voice in the background goes on to say that people are animals too, but the kid then says we're not animals, which temporarily stops the glitching. Gooby vanished for a second before returning with glitches and text reading, all animals have teeth. Then we get the last paragraph or sentence, which says, I was merely a vessel, a conduit through which this enigmatic being willed itself into existence. Also, we learn of a new kid named Abby who went missing on January 3rd, 2024. After this, we are coughing, footsteps, and a door opening and closing before the video ends. Interesting, but the next video is something. For the next videos, we're going to be learning about things, but it's different from the others and Gooby is noticeably gone. Additionally, there was a handful of codes and it was the most confusing thing I've ever seen in my life. The geniuses who cracked this code make me feel so dumb because they took all the codes and characters scattered throughout this video and discovered it was connected to a YouTube link for an unlisted video. So the way the code was cracked is by taking the great characters from the first couple of codes and that was a big hint for the fact that we're looking for a YouTube link. Additionally, throughout the video, there were single characters found scattered around. With these characters, we give them a number in the order that they were shown to us, and then we turn to the description, take the numbers provided to us, and use those numbers to get the order of the characters we need for the link. Do you understand? I hope you do, that's the best I could explain it. Anyways, using this link, we discover a learning video with Gooby, but a lot of the information was redacted. In the beginning of this unlisted video was a warning for those with epilepsy, so you have been warned, and then we proceed with the intro which leads to footage of Gooby, but noticeably corrupt. Additionally, we see flashing images of the missing children from before, but with another new kid named James who's from Wyoming and went missing on February 11th, 2024. Speaking of children, we also learn that Abby is from Arizona. Now with all the posters and information given to us, it's clear that children from the US seems to be the ones getting targeted and abducted from their homes. And additionally, through the video were unusual images of animals, anatomy, stuff connected to birth, and even codes scattered around, and when translated says, Where are we? asked Sophia. We are in a beautiful meadow, whispered Michaela. This is not a meadow, responds Sophia. There's also, Hello Joshua, come play with Gooby. And lastly, a sinister smile stretches across his face as he beckoned to them. The melody grows louder and more dissonant. How spooky! Also, throughout the video were a lot of words, each with a capital letter, and taking those letters gives us this. Ideas are birthed from the mind. He let me in, and through him, I let myself out. The larger pigs have less teeth. The smaller pigs have more to grow. How I feast upon the teeth. How I feast upon the teeth. How I feast upon the teeth. How spooky! And at the end of the video, we hear a voice talking about mammals' brains and how it helps them survive by passing down useful information to teach the next generation. The mammals with exceptional learning abilities are primates, humans being one of them. And that's the end of this unlisted video. But we're not done with unlisted videos yet because in the playlist, we find another video with Gooby and their friend and we're going to be learning about sounds. At some point, Gooby started flashing in and out of the video and this could be Morse code, but I'm not too sure. And there might be even hidden stuff within the audio itself, but I don't know how to check for that stuff. I'm sorry. Anyways, in the end, Gooby shows off their favorite sound and it was people screaming out in agony. And at the last second, we see all the missing children, including a new face, which we can't quite see. And these are probably all the videos so far if I didn't accidentally miss anything. <laughs> now what's the story and what's the deal with Gooby? Let's begin with the man in the suit with a creepy Gooby-like mask. Clearly important and likely the mastermind, right? Or is he? In one of the videos, we see an image of the man in a suit and he was standing in front of a crowd, meaning this man was likely a host for a show. A show for kids, meaning he's likely an educator. And according to past text, his desires and aspirations somehow manifest a being to will itself into existence, this being likely being Gooby. The man must have been ambitious and wanted their show to be great, and with the help of this otherworldly being, he was able to accomplish that, but spending too much time with this being caused him to forget the times when Gooby wasn't a part of him. Gooby's latching onto that man and forcing their way into our reality. The man is now being used as a vessel for Gooby, and that mask might not even be a mask. Gooby might be taking over his body completely and spreading from his head. Now, how does this tie in 
to the missing kids. Children have big imaginations and are very creative, and Gooby was manifested with a man's desire and aspirations and creativity. So in order for Gooby to get stronger and fully manifest into our world, they likely need those with high potential and creative minds that can also be easily influenced like a child. So Gooby is kidnapping these kids from different parts of the US and is using them to become something greater, probably. Also, Gooby might even see humans as cattle since they see us as animals. Gooby might believe we're their livestock which they can feed off of and use for their own personal benefit. So humans are potentially being used as food or a method of getting strong enough to infiltrate our reality for Gooby. Additionally, we see imagery of birth and pregnancy so maybe Gooby has a desire to be birthed into the world as a greater being? But that's just my theory at the moment. And how did Gooby kidnap those children despite them all being in different locations? Through the televisions, probably. Kids sometimes get left alone to watch a random program because they get fixated on what they're watching so Gooby must have used that to their advantage and somehow through the screen, snatched the kids away. According to the missing posters and information we get shown, the children somehow were taken from their homes and vanished out of thin air. So if Gooby can somehow weave themselves into our reality, it's only expected that they can take things back into their own original reality, right? Or maybe I'm looking way too into this and I'm way off. You tell me! Oh, and if Gooby isn't feeding off humanity, maybe they just want to manipulate humans and control them. Become a god who's worshipped or something. World domination. Maybe. I don't know. And now, what about the whole teeth thing? I'm not fully sure myself. I tried thinking of something, but nothing came to mind, so maybe it's just a word used to replace something else? To represent the human mind, maybe? I could be wrong, you tell me. In conclusion, Gooby might be aiming for world domination. Again, that's just my theory. My game theory- sorry. Tell me about your theories in the comments below, and as always, the links are in the description. My name is Rebus Terea. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like, subscribe, do that funny little notification thing, and I hope you have a good day. I better not catch you dying on me. Goodbye.